back in the fray. Gonna fuck shit up as Nightmare May. Alright. Uh, do I want to go here? I could play more Demon Tower. Eh, but no, not right now. I look the mirror. Alright. So now that we've progressed to the next day, afternoon us. Afternoon, I guess. Clock? God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like, having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. Wonder how old this thing is. Who knows? Have the boxes moved? They have not. Won't waste time on that then. Can we say hello to the bird? We can, we can. Sup, bird? And that's it. Anything over here? This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost. Like his skeleton. Ugh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like... Something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is that a safe code? Is this like... What is this? Thought, come back to life, Granddad. G-Dad. Oh yeah. Let's see. Where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. The Floating Island and Other Stories. Granddad didn't read out of this. He, like, recited it from memory. And made stuff up on top of that. To get me to sleep when I was a kid. That's cool. Miss you, dude. The Floating Island. Jeez. I'm old. <laughs> You're fucking 20. So, we were cool with Granddad. May was tight with him. But Granddad didn't like Dad? Why Granddad not like Dad? May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Hello? Hey, hon. You look like crap. <laughs> well, thanks. Yep. Rough night? No, just tired. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it, it's cool, Mom. I saw Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? I don't really remember. Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hon. No, he's not, or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. No one is going to jail for running around on power lines. Um... Yeah, no, you, you can totally go to jail for that. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. Think she wants to kill me? That's what I wrote down in my handy-dandy notebook, though. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. <laughs> okay. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. <laughs> that's... That's not okay. Ugh. So what are you up to today? 
I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and B are up to? You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Pass message. Ugh. Pass messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Like stands through the hourglass. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. I love Mama and Papa Cat. F the cops. Ugh, man. Mom and Papa Cat are the best. What you reading? More eels? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship. Living in a barrel. Eating raw fish. Crabs. Octopus, squid, lobster, gulls, albatross. I get it. The crews thought the boat was haunted. But nope, just a barrel boy. So first, well boy, now barrel boy. Seems to be a pattern here. What's the book called? Barrel Boy. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, I now want fish sticks. I know, right? I'll have your father bring some home. Hi, right, fish sticks for dinner. Sweet. Have a nice day, sweetie. Alright, I guess that's it. So. I have invites from B and Greg. Is that... I can hang out with both of them, or I hang out with one of them. F the cops, by the way. Up, up, up. So do I have to make a choice? Is it persona rules, where you only get so much time, and you have to choose- wait. That's exactly what mom was saying. The game is telling me that. I'm answering my own question. The game answered the question for me. That's neat. That's cool that that's a thing. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with the journal the other day? Oh, yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay, did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So, Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do. Though. I said that weird. And I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Yeah, sure. My heart is... A dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Well, that's really nice. When I feel... A blueness. All I need... Is you-ness. That's not bad. That's very romantic. It's weird that we're having this conversation with me standing up here and you down there. It's about my horse. Oh. So not romantic then. We're, we're just friends. Ta-da! It's Selmers. A poet. And I didn't even know it. Anything else, Selmers? Mr. Chazgov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Sorry about that. Okay, Mr. Chaskov's up on the roof. I have to go save him. Hello, Mr. Pel Porchman. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. You're a dick. I can hear you, do no. Oh, okay, you got something else to say? I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. Okay. One, two, three. I'm coming, Miss Chaskoff. I'll be there in a second. I gotta take the long way around. Made it. And. How's it going, Miss Chaskoff? That acorn followed me. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. 
impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm calling the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dust stars. What's dust stars? Dust stars is the name of my shoegaze band. What's a shoegaze band? Yeah, let's just ask what dust stars are. Wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. What? How does that work? It is a trick of the atmosphere and setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Want to have a look? Yeah. Excellent. I'm really inconsistent with his voice. Holy crap, my eyes! Why? Oh, you want to put the filter on, like so. Jeez! The sun is bright, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this. I just did. <sighs> okay. Thank you for blinding me. Oh, hey, it's going crazy. Huh? Huh? Am I supposed to do something? Try hitting the button. Oh, there we go. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Okay. Ah, yes, Castis. What's Castis? Totally it is. You know this one already. Nope. This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. That's not how dying works. You can't just not. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? I guess someday. I don't know. Never. <laughs> Defy Castus' gods also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. Not to all of them. No to all of them. This is fair. Alright, that's cool. So, we're finding stars, and he's telling us stories about the stars. That's cool. I like this. Is, is there a certain number I'm supposed to find? I guess I'll figure it out. I might have to cut this down if I suck at finding stars. Up, up, up. This one. Yeah. Found one. Let me have a look. Okay, that was... That's metal as fuck. Ah, yes. Door the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Door past burn the king's procession on the street. Dora was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Jeez. Let's go with why. Royalty is strange. So what happened? Byron insulted Dora, Dora's family, Dora's village, and so on. Until he was down to insulting Dora's chickens. Damn. Chickens are kind of awful. Weird, horrible, angry dinosaurs. This is true. They peck each other's eyes out. They are delicious. They deserve to be delicious. They are evolved to be delicious. Dor first murdered Burns' chickens. Then his ancestral village. Then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dora a hero? Totally. Like, if you've ever been told you're nothing before, 
A story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, okay, so he tells me when I'm done. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. Indeed. Ah, that is a pretty cool selection. I dig it. <coughs> that was pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Yeah, I'll totally come back. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. I'm down with that. The stars are awesome. Space is cool. That's spooky, Mr. Chaskov. <laughs> Alright, door. And Castus. Door the murderer. Alright, cool. Now... Oh, I see. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. Okay, so now we can get to the stairs. That'll lead us to the church. Right? That's what they said. Oh, yeah, it's a big church. Ooh. Let's go in the church. What's going on? What's poppin', God? <laughs> oh, hey, Mama Cat. Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Nope. Oh, she's around somewhere. Might be outside? She likes to go on walks. Cool, cool. I might bump into her. So how's church working? Good. Answering the phone. Entering data of various sorts. I'm trying to get everything into one unified app thing. You know, they make programs just for church administration. I didn't. I didn't either. I was watching online tutorials for the one we just got. But I just got distracted by true crime videos. Mom, I do declare you are slacking off at work. God will forgive me. <laughs> Alright, sweetie, I better work. Alright, see you later, Mama Cat. Ugh. What good parents. Okay. So the pastor's out here somewhere? Where can we go out here? Ooh, oh. What the heck? New entry. <gasps> is he breathing fire? That's cool. What is this? Is this the Pope? Or is this their... God? I don't know. First Coalescence Church. Pastor Young. Da -da 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 they have bingo. Transform Youth Ministry. Alright, cool. Cuckoo -cu choo. Let's keep moving. We're going into the woods, getting a little spooky. You warm enough tonight? Yeah, you know I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Oh, don't go to any trouble on my right. I said that all fucked up. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason, we have a lot of blankets. That'd sure be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets. <laughs> Alright. Howdy, y'all. Hey. Hey. You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Mom's name is Candy? Hmm. Hmm. Yep, who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. That's like, way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Hey. 
Hey. Bruce is new to our community. Do you live in the woods? Mm, yep. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. It's gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're bigger than city council. Still think... Still thinks it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy. And you are our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you. Little, little, little. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. Pastor. Pastor K. Alright. Pastor K. Okay. So we got a homeless guy. And the pastor. She's trying to help out the homeless guy. That's cool. What the heck is out here? Nothing. Got a lot of stuff written on this rock, though. Hmm. Okay. So we can come here now. Uh, and we can get up on the... Uh, what was it? Power lines. We can get up on the power lines now. That are on this next screen. So let's go do that. Let us see what we can see when we climb the buildings illegally. Okay. And bam. Alright, that's how we're supposed to get up here. It wasn't a puzzle. It was just busted. Oh, hey, his head's gone. Hey, lady. Bye, lady. <laughs> hey, dog. Nuke Possum Springs, 87. Alright, so can we go all the way over? No. Can't go to the next s fucking screen. So can we climb up higher? Hey, there's somebody up there. Hmm. A hand symbol. Oh. Well, can we break and enter? We can break and enter. Oh, I was supposed to do something else. Whoops. Let's, uh... Let's just reverse that. Open this up. What's in here? We can break into this building. Are there people living in here? Hello? Oh... Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingrow snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Hey, Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. <laughs> oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallory deserves a better memorial. Alright. Hmm? It's locked? What the hell? That is a fire hazard. Yeah, it shouldn't be locked from that side. <gasps> oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. Mallard P. Blooming Grow. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. 
This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard the duck. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big, beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Moment of silence for my friend Mallard. Hi, right, moment over. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still, a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Wavy wave. Oh, what's this? Mallard, you're pregnant. It's one of those god things. God things? Like when you have a baby because God? What? Oh, I get it. Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Squeaky squeak. <laughs> I don't know if they're afraid of me or not. Well, whatever. Alright, well, I gotta get food. Alright, that's a new thing to do. Um... Well, that looks like everything. Nothing else is popping up. Let's get out of here. Where can I get food? Mmm... Snack Falcon? I don't know. May doesn't have money. Oh, wait. What about the... How do I get up there? What about the, um... Uh, what is it? The pretzel shop. Pierogi shop. I missed it. I missed the jump. I don't know. Let's try one, two, three. Nope, missed it again! Damn it. <sighs> Watching me fail over. No, wait. Nope. We'll stop back here. One, two, three. Not far enough. Okay. Okay, we can do it. We can do this this time. Cue the motivational piccolo. Yes, yes, yes! I can win! I feel great! I can do this! Damn it. Oh. I can just jump up from there. Okay. I feel retarded. I think these are supposed to be weather stations? Pioneer Scouts made them when they weren't playing football. Or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Okay. I can? And power line. Wait. Jump on the power line. Okay. How do I get up there? Can I jump on this? Yes, I can. Boom. That's how you got up here. You're the mouse girl. L Lori. Right? Hey. Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm gonna sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old. How old are you? 15 in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really, most kids don't come all the way up here. <laughs> That's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street. Okay, out by the tracks. Yeah, guess I'm not really town. I'm like... Tracks. I live down on Maple. Oh, the rich neighborhood. What? What? Um, no. Oh, what? Because that was my reaction. Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. Never mind, it's okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
It's okay, calm down. Don't have an asthma attack. I'm sorry, I get all weird sometimes, I'm sorry. I'll forgive you if you stop apologizing. Okay. The tracks are cool. Haven't been out there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... <sighs> bits of ceiling on you. Good point. Alright. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. See you, killer. Ugh. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's drop down. Whee! I've never been to war. Not like the recruiter didn't try, though. Hard. Well, that's the recruiter's job. I wonder if Greg still has that helmet from World War One, With the bullet hole in it. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Alright, that's where B is. Anything new? No. Nothing on the ground floor. Still just fat pocket and all this stuff. Alright, let's go down into the sewers. <laughs>